ending its case with a stinging rebuke of one of the key defense uh, premises that Michael Jackson somehow killed himself. Uh, the, the prosecution saying that his medical condition made that impossible. It's a medical condition that is vividly illustrated in a photo, a shocking photo obtained by ABC News, and we warn you, it is graphic. It's an ABC News exclusive, a picture taken of Michael Jackson by business colleagues in 2003 that vividly demonstrates the reaction Jackson had to multiple needle punctures making it difficult for doctors to find a vein, a problem the prosecution star witness testified about when blasting the defense contention that Jackson injected the fatal dose of propofol himself. That Michael Jackson did not have good veins, so the possibility of a direct self-injection um, seems extremely unlikely. An obviously angry uh, Dr. Conrad Murray sat and listened to the prosecution star expert witness for the third straight court day, a relentless attack apparently designed to prove that Conrad Murray lied to police during this audio taped interview about how much propofol he gave the sleep-deprived singer. How much did you administer initially? So 25 milligrams. Dr. Stephen Schaefer, who wrote the actual dosage book on propofol, told the jury Michael Jackson had too much of the anesthetic he called milk in his system at autopsy for Dr. Murray to have been telling the truth. Michael Jackson received more than 25 milligrams. Schaefer then set out to prove that instead of one small injection, Jackson died because Conrad Murray jerry-rigged an uncontrolled, unmonitored home delivery IV to drip propofol into Jackson's body inserting the open anesthetic bottle into an empty saline bag and letting it flow into his patient's body. It's an intrinsically dangerous setup. And Schaefer finally finished emphasizing one of the prosecution themes, that even if the jury believes the defense that it was Michael Jackson who desperately grabbed and injected propofol into his own body, Conrad Murray is still at fault. He is a physician who has brought propofol into the room started an intravenous and provided access to propofol to a patient who may in fact be developing a dependency on sedatives. And he has been entrusted by Michael Jackson to look after his safety every night. He is responsible for every drop of propofol in that room. The defense will cross-examine Dr. Schaefer today and is expected to begin its case on Monday.